Are you ready to hit your first six figures as a photographer this year? Today, I'm giving you my six figure blueprint to easily make over $100,000 this year. This five part strategy is exactly what I did to gross over a million dollars in my business. Stay tuned, you do not wanna miss a single part of this strategy. Hey, I'm Tracy and I help photographers stay forever booked out without the hustle. Be sure to grab my free guide outlining my five best tips to book clients without Facebook ads. The first step in your six figure photography business plan is to set the foundation of your business. And by this, I mean, we know that you wanna bring in six figures, but what does that mean for you in your particular business? Do you wanna pay yourself 100,000? Do you just want to bring in $100,000 in revenue in general? How many hours do you plan to work? Are you taking vacation? How many clients can your schedule actually handle? How many hours will be actual client hours and how many hours will be business building hours? And how do you make this happen? Well, the good news is I have what I call my full-time formula. And this is gonna help you answer all of these questions. Let me show you how it works. This is a full-time formula. I'm just gonna run us through this. We're only gonna worry about the one year full-time formula. We are not gonna worry about the five years in this video. What I wanna start with is the salary goal. This is gonna tell you exactly what you need to know. It's the foundation of your business. So let's say you wanna bring home $50,000 per year. That gives us a total revenue of $142,857 or basically a $140,000 for the year. And that means that you are taking home 35% of your total. Now let's move down to our dream lifestyle. Let's say with this, you can work 20 hours a week. Maybe you still have a full-time job, totally fine. And you're going to take a month off. So you'll also have 48 weeks per year or four weeks off and you'll be four week, 48 weeks on. Now that gave us exactly how many admin hours you need to pull in. You may need to make sure that you schedule those seven hours in in your time per month and per week and that is 320 hours a year so seven hours a week and then that means that you have time for 640 hours of clients on average most photographers spend about eight hours per client I will say most photographers who work with me are spending closer to about two and a half hours three hours maybe four hours per client rather than eight but that's another story for another day if you guys want more information about that be sure to comment below and I will definitely give you more information about that. This, the time that you have to work, that means that you have time for 80 clients a year or seven clients per month. 80 sounds a little bit more intimidating than the seven, but the seven hours is not so bad, right? And that also means that you need to have a $1,786 sales average. This is the number that you actually build your price list around. One access to this super handy formula. You can grab your copy in the TLC shop, which is linked in the description below. The second step in your six figure photography business plan is to build a price list that will actually help you hit your sales average. Now there's a lot of strategy that goes into building an effective pricing guide, especially one that's gonna help you hit your sales average goal. And to be honest, I think the easiest way to lay this out is to lay out your pricing guide using my TLC template. Let me show you. Here is my TLC pricing template. So if you end up getting this, make sure that you make a copy before you actually use use it. And then here we go. This is the collections. Now I always recommend having, if you're going to do collections, three at the most. You don't want more than three. Another thing you want to do is make sure that everything inside of them makes sense, but also builds on each other. So this is another video for another day, but I just, I did want to make sure that everything you put in here needs to build on the next one. This is what I want to show you. Now this price list tells you exactly what you need to have on here. Also, the video will tell you exactly what to put in the collection, so no worries about that. But here we go with the albums. I like to have three albums, and then this is a very basic. As you grow your business, you're going to add more to it, but very basically, we'll do three albums. The reason we want three albums is, again, to build on the other one. The middle one is the one that they should choose. So let's just say like the full-time formula was $1,786 sales average, we would want to have like an $1,800 sales average as the middle album. And then the smaller one will be a 
like probably $9.99 and let's say $29.99. This is very basic, but that way you have $1,000 increments. And this one is the one that they want. You need to make sure that the middle album is the one that they cannot live without. Now down here, the tabletop miniature, small, standard, large, grande. These are pretty standard in the photography industry. So you are more than welcome to it. The names of these prints were chosen for a reason based on sales psychology. Your clients are going to want a standard or a small. They're not going to want a tabletop, even though the tabletop is an 11 by 14, miniature 16 by 24, small is a 20 by 30. That's not very small, right? Standard 24 by 36, large 30 by 40, and grande 40 by 60. Just make sure that these are priced correctly. Gift prints, individual prints never under $100, and then make the five gift prints make sense. And now that you know what you need on your pricing list, let's talk about how to actually decide on your pricing. That's where my photography pricing calculator comes in. Let me show you how it works. So this is my TLC photography pricing calculator. In here, it's a little bit different than the pricing template, but I want to explain why. So we've got the 10 by 10, eight by eight, six by six, and then two really awesome albums. I like to have those because when you have those, it'll push them even more to the eight by eight and the 10 by 10 because because these really awesome albums are gonna be like a little bit unreachable. So I really like to have those and you can just add that to the template that I showed you earlier. It's not a big deal. You just duplicate some of the albums and make five albums rather than three. Now in here, you've got the all of the different photos and then the gift prints so that you have that in there so you can go in and figure out the pricing. Now, I wanna talk about the actual pricing. So let's say that this album is a 10 by 10 from White House custom color. I know their album pricing, so we're just going to go with that. So let's say that this album has 20 photos in it. Your retouching is $5. Even if you're doing the retouching yourself, you still need to pay yourself. So I like $5. If you have a retoucher that's cheaper than that or more than that, you can adjust that. The retouching fees are going to figure themselves out. So let's say that this album actually has 30, you can see that that changed the price itself to 150. And then the album is $150 for eight, $15. White House actually doesn't charge you, I don't think, unless you're drop shipping. So I drop ship and that's where that comes in. Packaging, $8. Let's say you did an out like the leather album upgrade. So it's an extra $35. This is going to figure itself out. So like say that it was an extra $50. You can see this is figuring itself out based on what you've input. This comes from something else. So most cost of sales for a photographer is 25%. So if you don't have my long-term budget blueprint, just leave that at 25% because really you want your products to be four times what you pay for them. So that brings it to $14.92. And then this also will figure out based on this number, your credit card fees. This doesn't necessarily mean that this is what you want to charge for that. I actually think you'll want to charge more, but you want to at least make sure that you're getting that you know what you have to make for that album to be profitable. But that doesn't mean that that's what you're going to charge. It's also going to be based on these albums because we know that you need to have a $1,800 sales average based on our full-time formula from earlier. So with that, we would want this album to be the $1,800 album. So this is more or less just to tell you what you have to make and why. And it's going to help you have more confidence going into the sales session. Want access to this handy pricing calculator and pricing guide? You can grab both in the TLC shop, which is linked in the description below. The third step in the six figure photography business plan is to know who your ideal client is. I talk about how important this ideal client is because it is so important. If you know who she is, where she's shopping, what she does for fun, where she's spending her money with locally, who she's doing business with locally, what she's wearing, it's gonna be so much easier to build a marketing strategy to attract her. But if you don't take the time to get to know who she is, it's always just gonna be like a shot in the dark, you know? Take the time to get to know her. Your sales will thank you. Now the fourth step to your six figure photography business plan is to create a high converting website. A high converting website is built to take a lead and turn her into a client really quickly. Let me walk you through my website and I will show you what I mean. Now this is my website. I just wanna walk you through it because this is a very high converting website. I had it built by a web designer who taught me a lot about designing websites and how to make them where they are very, very high converting. So the goal of my website, I have two. I have either to book
yoga session or to have them sign up for my free guide. Those are my two main goals. And you can see throughout this website that I'm really focusing on getting them to book the session. They don't book the session. They keep sliding down, sliding down, and they can go ahead and either book the session or get the free guide. That's all on the homepage. You can see how many times I've asked them to do one or the other. Now, the good thing about this is the way to get them to actually either book and join is with $100 off the session. I keep my session fee high enough that I know I'm going to make money, but also that $100 off my session is a good incentive for them to get on my email list because I know even if they book a session now, they can be on my email list and they will book more sessions if they're on my email list. It's been proven time and time again. So you can see on the about page, doing the same thing, book the session now, get the free guide, but also answering the questions that they have about the session as we go. So this, I want them and my clients tell me that they chose me because tasteful and classy were the things that they saw throughout my website. That's just the type of clients I always pull in. So then on here, I'm talking more about albums because I also, yes, I want them to go ahead and book the session, but I want them to know that they're going to book, they're going to purchase an album from me afterwards. And I'm also telling them about why they need to do it. More booking the session, testimonials, social proof is very, very important. Frequently asked questions. This is something that I really want you guys to see. The frequently asked questions are on the investment page. I don't have just a frequently asked questions page. I don't think you need that. I think you can add that to another page, but then book your session, get the free guide. One more thing I wanted to show you, and then everything else is just like the contact or the blog page, but on my gallery page, one thing you need to know, if you want to sell albums, you've got to show albums. So you can see I've got albums, five of them right there on this gallery page, as well as my favorites. So just something really, really important that I think you need to do is make sure that if you want to sell albums, you're showing them. And the fifth step to your six figure photography business plan is to drive traffic to your website. Okay, let's talk about potential traffic drivers. We already have your high converting website built. So we need to drive traffic to your website. You can do that in the form of email marketing and with an ROI of $38 for every dollar spent. Great investment of your time. And I'm going to be honest, this is one of the ways that I keep my sales booked out, which help me book out my slow season. Then we have SEO and blogging. The clients who come from Google are the best clients. It's like they have their credit card out, blogs and optimizing your website for keywords are going to be the best way to do that. Social media is good for visibility and it's just a really good way to let clients know you're still around and just stay top of mind for them. We have referrals. Clients and business referrals are one of the very best ways to book tons of really, really great clients. Referrals are one of the main ways that I'm currently booking my clients at this point. So it's something that you really need to take advantage of. And then of course, we've got events and to book clients immediately, get a significant boost to your email list. I really love bridal fairs, women shows, networking events. You can host events in your own studio. All of those are really good to drive traffic to your website as long as you are doing that. You've got to be the one driving the traffic to your website. You have to be the one pushing those potential clients to your website. Website will do the work for you. It's going to convert those leads into clients. One more thing, the more times that people are on your website, the more likely they are to actually go ahead and book a session. So driving traffic there all the time. Very important. One more thing. I just said that, but one more thing. It takes about a thousand leads to your website to book just 10 clients per month. That means you need to drive a thousand leads to your website per month to book 10 clients if you need to do that. If you need the eight clients like we talked about earlier in the full-time formula, you need to drive 800 leads to your website. So keep that in mind. And if you're having trouble, if you don't feel like you're booking the amount of clients you need, maybe that's why. Maybe you need to drive more traffic to your website. And that's your six figure photography business plan. Be sure to subscribe to get notified on my next video, which is on five boudoir photography posing ideas for stunning images. And while you wait for that, be sure to check out this video, the three ways to book out your photography schedule. If this was helpful, let me know and give it a like. Bye. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.